to YouTube. It's Dr. Cena here. I'm a dermatologist working in the UK. And today I'm going to go through Instagram reels for skincare. Really? Is that a thing? If you find this video useful, please do like and subscribe and then hit that dingy bell thing. Right, so firstly, what is Instagram Reels? So this new feature, which Instagram released last year, allowing short form video content a la TikTok is basically the new hottest thing really. It allows you to produce video content with text-based music elements, uh, which by nature has an addictive property to the flow. So why is this important to skincare enthusiasts or influencers? So Reels is literally blowing up right now. It's being underutilized for skincare videos. Uh, in Brazil alone, it sparked a 1% growth of users every month. One of the biggest benefits of using it is to disseminate information or education in a short amount of time to an audience without losing your intensity or hook. It could even be used effectively for reactions videos to other content quite easily. Instagram have stated that they are moving away from being a photo sharing app towards a video content app. So now is the right time for entry, especially for anyone involved in skincare. So how do you use Reels for your video content? So this may differ for different people. However, one important thing to realize is that the music archive in Reels is only really accessible to personal or creator accounts and not for businesses. So make sure you have one of the personal or creator accounts. What I tend to do is to chop up my videos on YouTube into kind of accessible segments using Adobe Rush. I then import them over to my phone and use Canva to generate attractive screenshots, covers similar to how you would use on a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, I then upload my videos to Insta Stories and use it to auto-generate captions because Reels does not have this functionality at present and the captions help with user retention. You may also wish to use a caption app to help generate these. I then stitch a few relevant short videos together, five to ten seconds in reels, and add in a piece of music which is trending and viral at the moment, and voila, you have a nice reels video which should garner thousands of views. So, are there any risks to Instagram reels? Well, unfortunately, in the skincare realm, there is always the risk of spread of misinformation, and this can be exacerbated by poor quality video content best thing to do is to be aware of this and if you're a skincare enthusiast try to use as many trusted verifiable sources as you can. For example, I tend to use Dermnet NZ as a useful information source in dermatology and Inky Decoder for topical treatment information. As ever, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. It allows me to keep churning out this sweet, sweet content.